Welcome to a new program of That's English. In today's program, we're going to talk about traditions. And in our documentary, we're going to speak about one of Dublin's traditions, Bloomsday. Bloomsday is celebrated every year in Dublin as a homage to James Joyce. Homenaje a James Joyce. Homage is homenaje. Homage. And people wear period costumes, trajes de época. They dress in period costumes to represent different characters from Ulysses, James Joyce's novel. Llevan trajes de la época en que transcurre la novela de James Joyce, Ulysses. Character es, como recordaréis, personaje. Character. Y vestidos de esta forma se reúnen en... Gary, please don't give any more details. We have to watch the documentary. Well, that's true. Pero quiero advertiros que no os preocupéis si os despista un poco el comienzo de este documental. Don't worry if you can't understand everything. Lo que os vamos a pedir es que localicéis la siguiente información. The place where the book Ulysses begins. A word which describes Molly Bloom's personality. And finally, the date when Bloomsday is celebrated. Ready? Then let's watch our documentary. Stately, plump Buck Mulligan came from the stairhead, bearing a bowl of lather on which a mirror and a razor lay crossed, a yellow dressing gown, ungirdled, was sustained gently behind him by the mild morning air. He held the bowl aloft and intoned, With these words at the Martello Tower, James Joyce's Ulysses begins. Ulysses and James Joyce are possibly the book and writer with the biggest influence on 20th century literature. And as a homage to Joyce, people celebrate Bloomsday, a one-day celebration named after Leopold Bloom, the modern protagonist of Ulysses. As in the book, the celebration starts at 8 o'clock at the Martello Tower. Actors, actresses and Joyce admirers dressed in period costumes meet to recite, read or comment on passages from Ulysses. A diaphragm. If you can put your five fingers through it, it is a gate. If not, a door shuts your eyes and see. Stephen closed his eyes to hear his boots crush crackling rack and shells. You are walking through it howsomever. I am astride at a time. Airs romped about him, nipping and eager airs. They are coming waves, the white maned seahorses, champing, bright windle bridles, the steeds of Mananan. This unusual homage to Joyce attracts people from all over the world. Let's ask one of the participants why he's here. Excuse me, may I ask you some questions? Yes, of course. Why are you celebrating Bloomsday? Well, I'm very fond of Jane Joyce. I like his, his literature very much. And I think it's a good occasion to be here and have a good time. What's your favorite character from Ulysses? Perhaps uh, Molly Bloom. Because uh, this character is uh, very honest, sensitive, sensual, and attractive. Uh, by the way, where did you come from? 
I come from Spain. What are you doing here? I'm working. Working? What do you mean? Well, I'm the director of that English. And remember, reading Ulysses is very practical and unusual. Don't give up. Go for it. To take part in the celebration, our television crew wore period costumes. This interview with our director was a joke, but he's a sincere admirer of joy. Many of the streets, public buildings, and pubs mentioned in Joyce's Ulysses still exist today. And Joyce's followers reproduced the 24-hour journey of Leopold Bloom around Dublin city on June the 16th, 1904. A traditional lunchtime stop is at Davy Byrne's pub. Here, Joyce's admirers have a lunch of gorgonzola cheese sandwiches and burgundy, as mentioned in Ulysses. The celebration goes on for a whole day in different parts of Dublin. We are celebrating Bloom's Day because June the 16th, 1904, was the day on which Ulysses was written by James Joyce, and he concentrated the whole novel on one day in the life of Dublin. And the town authorities offer a dinner with another menu taken from the book. What a nice home it, isn't it? Mm. Do you remember the first thing we wanted you to find out? It was the place where the book Ulysses begins. As in the book, the celebration starts at 8 o'clock at the Martello Tower. So as you've just heard, Ulysses begins at the Martello Tower. Then we ask you, to find a word which describes Molly Bloom's personality. Because uh, this character is uh, very honest, sensitive, sensual, and attractive. We asked you to find one, when in fact Fernando, our director, mentions four. So the answer could be honest, sensitive, sensual, or attractive. Then finally, the date when Bloomsday is celebrated. We are celebrating Bloomsday because June the 16th, 1904, was the day on which Ulysses was written. Did you hear that? June the 16th. Now, let's go on to our play it again. Pero antes, vamos a dar el significado de algunas palabras nuevas. Arma, armadura, y blacksmith, herrero. Let's watch it. It's a quarter past five. Sarah knows perfectly well I don't like waiting. Are you impatient to meet your future son-in-law? It's not that. But the formal introduction to our girl's fiancé is a very traditional event in my family. You know our, our motto? It's tradition above all. Oh. Hello, everybody. So we're late. It's about time, too. Where's this friend you've invited? Here. He's the man I love. Oh, right. oh good afternoon. <laughs> uh, you must be Sarah's mother, right? <laughs> nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, oh, and you must be the man who doesn't let Sarah come home late, right? Yes, <laughs> that's me. Oh, beautiful paintings you've got here. Gary's an artist, like his father and his grandfather. Yeah, it's a tradition in my family. Oh, who's that man in that picture? That's my great-grandfather. He's the man that built this house. And this oh. is a house where my family have lived for a hundred years. Oh, and who's that in that picture? <laughs> that is Sir Albert of Sussex. Oh, oh. He's the man who founded our dynasty. 
Ah, and that's the armour which he wore to the Battle of Bosworth. Oh, funny. Same as my ancestors. Really? <laughs> Were they soldiers too? <laughs> no, 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 no. Soldiers. <laughs> no. Blacksmiths. Blacksmiths, you know. The people who make armour. That's the reason why Gary's a sculptor. It's a tradition in his family. <laughs> but nowadays, not many people wear armours, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the future. When are you going to hold your engagement party? There will be no engagement party. But, uh, it's, but it's a tradition in our family which we've followed for years. Well, there isn't such a tradition in my family. Well, what about the wedding? What sort of a ceremony are you going to have? There will be no wedding. Gary and I will just go and live together. Yeah, it's a tradition in my family. My grandfather and my grandmother were the first not to marry. And my father and my mother didn't marry either. And I'm going to follow the tradition and won't marry Sarah. Ha! What do you think? That's why I love him. Mm. <laughs> he <laughs> loves tradition just like you, Dad. Something. Remember our family motto, darling. Tradition above all. Hablando del sketch, vamos a repetir algunos fragmentos para que elijáis los pronombres relativos correctos, bien sea which o who. Recordad que which se utiliza para cosas y who para personas. El pronombre relativo that se emplea indistintamente para cosas o personas. Por lo tanto, se puede utilizar en todas las frases. Pero aquí queremos que elijáis los pronombres which o who. You must be Sarah's mother, right? <laughs> nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> And you must be the man who doesn't let Sarah come home late. He's the man who founded our dynasty. Ah. That's the armour which he wore to the Battle of Bosworth. There will be no engagement party. But, uh, it's, but it's a tradition in our family which we've followed for years. And now that we're approaching the end of the programme, it's time to sum up what we've learnt in this unit. We've talked about traditions. And when to use the relative pronouns who, which, and that. Y algunas palabras que sirven de nexo entre dos frases. Now, now, Sarah, remember...